Good morning, my name is Vivek and this is my video on squares of numbers. In this video, we are going to learn a technique which can make our uh, squaring of numbers much easily and help us solve, find the squares of numbers in less than 10 seconds. And first of all, for us to know the squares of numbers which are greater, maybe up to 125 squares, we require to know the squares of numbers between 1 and 25. And for that, for for a start, I've taken these one uh, squares between 1 and 25 for our reference. And in future cases, I will require you guys to by heart to know the squares between 1 and 25 by heart. So that will be easy for you all to solve the questions much more simply. Simple and uh, you can be an effective person in solving these problems. So first of all, uh, for us to get this in place we start solving one question a two digit number probably the square of 42 42 42 square so how effectively we can find this all that we have to do here is square 42 first we'll take 42 and we'll take two reference values one is 25 the other is 50 compared to 50 how much is 42 less so it's going to be 50 minus 42 the value is going to be 8 so all that we have to do is square the value of 8 to get the last two digits of the number so square the value of 8 is nothing but 8 square is 64 this will stay as the last two digits of the number and compared to 25 how much more is 42 so 42 how much more is when it compared to 25 it is 17 more so this will be the first two digits. So it's 1764. This is the value of 42 square. 42 square. So all that we have, that we have to do here is to take ref, take two reference values. One is 50, the other is 25. Compared to 50, how much is 42 less? It is 8 less. So 8 square, the value is 64. That will stay as the last two digits. Compared to 25, how much more is 42? Is 17 more so our value is 1764 that is it so we take another example so that we can learn this much we can perfect this art so probably we'll take another example 37 square 37 square we know the reference value is going to be 50 and we know it's 25 compared to 50 how much less is 37 we know 15 minus 37 is going to be 13. So the value of 13 square is going to be 13 square is going to be if you're not sure probably we will refer here it's 169. So we know it's 169 and we know 169 the last two stays at 69 and 1 is a carry. So compared to 25 how much more is 37? It is 12 more so it's nothing but 37 minus 25 you see the value is 12 so 12 along that the other carry is 1 so add both of them we get 13 so our value for 37 square is 1369 very simple I'll explain one more time compared to 25 and 50 we take two reference values for 37 compared to 50 how much is 37 less it's less by 13 so we get as 13 square 13 square value is 169 since we get three digits here we require only two digits we take the last two and one will stay as carry and this will get added to the first two digits so 37 minus 25 gives you 12 with this 12 i'm adding that one carry and i get the value as 1369 a very simple technique and probably this can also be used on numbers beyond 50. so we can start using it for numbers this method can be applicable for squares between 26 and 76 26 and 76 so probably we'll take another number probably 62 square or where maybe 49 square and we take 73 square we'll try to get those values in this place we'll try to be a bit quicker Compared to 25, compared to 50, compared to 50, 62 is how much more? It is 12 more. 12 square gives you 12 square. The value is 144. So we get it as 44 and 1 stays as carry. 
16 by 25 how much is 62 more so it's nothing but 37 more so 37 62 minus 25 gives you 37 and 37 along with that we have one as carry and value would be 3844 3844 maybe here and we take two references again 50 we have 25 here compared to 50 49 is how much less it is one less so one square value would be one so we need two digits we get only one so we put it as zero one compared to 25 how much is 49 more so 49 minus 25 stays as 24 so value would be 24 so since there's no carry a value would stay as 2401 next 73 square compared to 50 and compared to 25 compared to 50 is 23 more so 23 square stays as 529 so it's 29 here so 5 is a carry and compared to 25 for 73 would be 48 more so 25 gives you 48 more so 48 plus 5 carry we get 53 so value is 5321 as simple as that a very simple technique but in the initial part of my video I said we could get the answers of squares up to 125 I will try helping you on the other numbers uh, beyond 75 so how effectively we could get to the answers and probably we get a value which is beyond 75 maybe we try to find any one square we still take the references as 25 here and 50 the problem that we get here is the difference between them the difference between one of them would become 31 if we take it as 31 remembering 31 square becomes a very tough job so that's why it's it's simple if you could use a different technique instead of using the same technique the same technique is applied but with a small change so the change would be here it's nothing but all that we have to do here is take 81 square we are just going to change the reference values we take the reference as 50 we take it as 100 compared to 181 how much is it less so we know 100 minus 81 stays as 19 so we know 19 so 19 square gives you the last one bit. so 19 square is you know it's 361 so 19 square is 361 take it as 61 and 3 is going to be a carry 3 is a carry compared to 50 how much is 81 more 81 how much is it more 31 and we put 31 with this we had 3 here we get 34 I only I want every one of you all to listen here we just put the same value just the, like the other technique that is 31 along with that we had 3 we get 34 our answer would be 3461 is this right I don't think it is right reason being what would be 60 square what is what would be 60 square it's nothing but 60 into 60 you not multiply you can just very easily say 6 square will give you 3 6 double zero. This would be a value 0 0 and 3 6 double 0 but here if you put it as just like that you get as 50, 81 minus 50 gives us 31 31 plus 3 carry gives you 3461 3461 is much lesser than 60 square but our value here is 81 square so our value should be greater than this value so how do we get that this is where we'll have to make a small change all that we have to do is compare to a 50 how much is 81 more so it's 81 minus 50 is 31 instead of getting the value just putting it directly all that we have to do is 31 into 2 so value would be 62 so with this 62 we have 3 as your carry so we add both of them we get the value as 6561 6561 that is how much that is how we will have to get to the value all that we have to do is just multiply and we'll have to double that value instead of directly putting it we'll have to double that value to get the first two digits maybe we use another question now maybe 93 square 93 square take the reference as 50 100 compared to 100 how much is 93 less so it is nothing but 7 less so it's 7 squares value 7 squares value gives you 49 that would stay as the last two digits compared to 50 how much is 93 more so it is 43 now 93 minus 50 is 43 
it's 43 more instead of putting it 43 itself we'll have to double it 43 into is 86 so our value will be 86 foot 9 that is it so as quick as we can this is how much how quick we can get to the answers probably we'll try another problem here so before we get on to the uh, next technique that is probably we'll try 79 square a bigger number the reference becomes bigger so it's 50 year it's 100 year it's 50 year compared to 100 how much is it less 21 square 21 less so 21 square gives you we get the value is 21 square is 441 so we have 41 year or is okay compared to 50 it is 29 more 79 minus 50 gives you 29 29 into 2 29 into 2 is giving us 58 so it's 58 plus 4 gives us 62 so value for that is 64 we could get to this value very quickly we can get the squares of numbers in less than 10 seconds if we start mastering this technique and this can effectively help us in getting values much quickly and also in multiplying numbers I showed the multiplication process in a uh, few minutes before that we try to find the squares of numbers uh, beyond 100 up to 125 probably we'll get another number probably we'll try getting the answer 413 square or maybe 121 square the same technique and approach same approach 50 and we take 100 here compared to 100 how much is it more 13 more so value will become 13 square 13 square is 169 so you get it as 69 one is a carry compared to 50 63 113 would be 63 more so it's 63 more 63 into 2 is what we'll have to get 63 into 2 is nothing but 126 along with that we have a carrier which is 1 126 plus 1 would be 127 it will be our first unit. so answer for that is 12760 so it's nothing but 12769 similar technique here similar approach it's 21 square so 150 we get 21 squares value here 21 squares value is 441 4 is a carry compared to 50 it will be 71 more 71 into 2 is 142 142 plus 4 is 146 so value is 1464 we can just be a master maybe another problem 119 square all that we have to do is 19 it's 500 year, it's 50 year. Compared to 100, it's 19 more. So 19 square is 361. 3 is a carry. Compared to 50, it is 69 more. 69 into 2 gives you 138. 138 plus 3 is 141. So 14161. This is how quick you could get to the answers without even multiplying. So this is why this technique becomes very handy. And this can also be improvised on further squares as well. We can improvise on getting the further squares as well. All that we have to do is we'll have to change the references. I'll give you a, a small example for us to get answers beyond 125. Probably we put the answers between 26 and 25, 26 to 76 square. After 75 square, we found with the first technique with a small change, we could find the answers between 75 and 125. With the further smaller change, we can get answers between 126 and 175 and give that change as well before I end this video so that change is nothing but if you have to calculate the value of 137 square probably again we take 50 and 100 as reference the difference becomes 37 just tougher for us to calculate so we have to take the reference as firstly we took it as 25 and 50 then we took it as 50 and 100 now it's a job to take it as 75 and 125 75 and 150 I'm sorry 75 and 150 all that we have to do is 150 or 75 year so compared to 150 how much is it less 137 13 less so 13 squares 169 1 is a carry compared to 75 how much is it more 137 137 gives us 62 more 62 more so we get a 62 but what would should I multiply it with 25 and 50 I just multiplied nothing there which means it's multiplied by 1 we will not multiply anything on that so that we got the same value 
So 1500 we've multiplied the first to get the first two digits we've got the difference we've taken the difference and we've multiplied by two so for samsung 150 we'll have to do the same with a small change we multiplied by one then we multiplied by two now we'll have to multiply by three so the difference here is 62 so 63 2 in 3 gives us 186 186 plus 1 gives us the carry 1 gives us the value is 187.60. That is a square value. Probably another question can help us watching 146 square. All that we have to do is compare to 150 compared to 75. Compared to 150, it is nothing but 4 less. So 4 square is 60. Compared to 75, it is nothing but 71 more. So 71 into 3. 71 into 3 is 215, so the value for that is 21316, that is as much as that. So this technique can be improvised for every square and we can get to the answer much. For a bigger square, all that we have to do is we'll have to start from this. We'll have to just improvise on this technique. All that we have to do is for the numbers between, for finding the squares between 125 and 150, 125. 126 and 175 we can use this and for this this works out for 70, uh, 76 to 125 and this works out for 26 and 26 and 75 so here probably for 176 and up to 225 all that we up to 225 all that we have to do is just multiply this this would be 100 and 1 to 100 as reference and we'll have to multiply by 4 We'll have to just improvise this technique. We'll have to just improve, this, improve it, improve it, improve it, just to get to the bigger the value gets, the square gets. We'll have to just improve this technique. Nothing beyond it. The same technique with a smaller change could help us big time in getting to the answers. Probably before I finish this video, I will try to help you on finding how this squares can help us in multiplying a couple of numbers as well. So I know most of us should be knowing this particular method, but we do not apply it. Probably I'll help you applying this through this because if you start becoming a master in squares, you need not multiply. Instead, you instead use this technique to help you multiply things very easily and quickly as well. So if you multiply 7, 8 and 62, or do you multiply 7, 8 and 62, and things like this gets tougher for us. Probably, how do you multiply 43 and 63? Things like this, when we multiply, it gets tougher. All that I'm trying to do here is to get to the technique much easily. I'm trying to find the difference between them. So the difference between them is 78 and 62 is 16. So here also, 63 minus 43 is 20. So whenever a difference is even, so difference is even, difference is even here, we can apply this technique. The difference is even here, we can apply this technique. Through squares, we could get to the answer quickly than multiplying these two numbers. So how do we apply this? So the, the difference is 16 here. So what I'm doing here is I'm dividing the difference by 2. So I get it as 8. So the minute I get it as 8, I mean taking this... 8 and subtracting with the greater value, so I get a 70. With the smaller value, it's 62 plus 8 gives you 70. All that I'm trying to tell you, find is center value. So the minute I get 70, can I write 78 as 70 plus 8? And can I write 62 as 70 minus 8? All that I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to find the middle value between them, the average between them. Or I can either find the difference or I can just add both of those numbers and divide it by 2 so I get the middle value. So I'm finding the middle value of these two so the value would be 70. So 70 square, this is nothing but it's 70 plus 8 and 70 minus 8. So this would give us uh, an idea about something that we learned in our 6th standard, 6th grade. So it would be a plus b into a minus b. So most of us by now should be giving me the answer as a squared minus b squared. So I'm using the same approach here. So a squared would be, it's a here, this is b here. So a squared minus b squared. a squared would be 70 squared. 70 squared is 4, 9 double 0. 
that is b squared is 64. So answer would be 4826. That is how simple as this. As simple as it gets, you can get to the answer. Similar problem. Probably we try to approach this way. 63 and 43, the difference is 20. I take the center value is 20 divided by 2 is 10. So can I take it as 53? 10 gets subtracted to this. Can I take it as 53 plus 10? This is the whole view as 53 minus 10. So 53 plus 10 and 53 minus 10. So 53 plus 10 and 53 minus 10 is A and this is B. So A and this is B. So all that we have to do is A squared minus B squared. So A squared is 53 squared minus 10 squared. 53 squared, we know how do we calculate 53? We have two references 50 and 25. Compared to 50, it is 3 more. So 3 squared is 0, 9. Compared to 25, it is 28 more. So 28, 0, 9. So we get the value is 2, 8, 0, 9. 53 squared minus 10 squared is 100. So the value would be 2, 7, 0, 9. This is how quickly you can get to the answer. When you practice, you become much faster and you become a master in this particular technique. Probably one more or a couple of more questions so you can get to the answers. So, probably uh, 62 into 62 into uh, 86, probably the difference between them would be 24. So, 24 divided by 2 gives you 12. So my 12 will be 62 plus 12 and 86 minus 12. So I think that's 74. So 74 minus 12. This 62 can be written as 74 minus 12. 86 can be written as 74 plus 12. So all that we have to get is 74 squared. So 74 squared gives you the value as, you know, it's 2050 and 25. So you get the value as 24 squared, 24 squared. 576, 5 is a carry compared to 25, it's 49 more. 49 plus 5 is 54. So 5476 minus 144. The value would be 3 and the error is 3. So 5332. This is how simple it is. And this technique can be effectively used whenever there is a complicated multiplication. When the difference becomes even, we can use the squares and we can get to the answers much quickly. And I have another video on squares very quickly and this can the application of squares in uh, high level problems probably a cat level or a math level and in my upcoming video I will be doing that. So thank you so much for your time and patience. I will see you in my next video. Thank you.